welcome and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be letting my niece do my nails. This is not my normal lighting situation. It's a really chill, relaxed kind of day. So those are the vibes right now. Tell me if you guys like this natural lighting setup. I'm looking at my monitor and I'm like, mm. This mirror that I have, you guys, is possessed. Like sometimes it sees me and then sometimes it doesn't see me. So you can see like it's playing with the light. And I think that's what I don't like about this setup. Um, yeah, let me get started on my makeup. I'm not even gonna wear a whole lot, but I need something. Cause you know, I just feel like as a woman personally, personally, this is my experience, okay? I just feel like as a woman personally, I like to always look my best and you know even if I'm just going to the supermarket I like to look polished that's just a personal thing though where are my brushes because right now everything is all over the place you guys are gonna see my normal face my day-to-day -day face I'm just using a little bit of concealer I'm touching up my few little blemishes I have a scar right here I cut myself <sighs> It is so annoying. My brow pencil, here we go. So shout out to you guys for all the love on my last video, thank you. I uploaded a video on Tuesday and you guys seem to really like that one. And I'm glad you did because I really enjoyed filming it. If you didn't check out that video, I highly recommend that you do. Just flicking small hair like strokes in my brow brows somewhat look decent you know I'm not trying to go for a total beat oh, and there goes my light getting brighter wow now i really have no light on come on help us just out spray my face i also need something on these cheeks okay go heavy with the blush but it's messy. I don't know how to explain it. Take a little bit up here. And I'll just kind of clean up my contours with a brush that I use with my concealer just to kind of buff everything out. And take a little bit of setting powder. But first, just kind of press in that concealer, get rid of that creasing. Because naturally, if you have folds there, you're gonna crease. There's no way around that. Brush and just stamp that powder. Really wanted to absorb that cream product. I don't really feel like wearing a lash today. I'm kind of just like, meh, you know? Maybe I'll throw on some mascara. Throw on some lash primer first because my little itty bitty lashes need it. That was my lash primer. Now I need a little bit of mascara like i can't never really work my right lash the way that i can work my left lash why is that is it because i'm right-handed i think what i'm gonna do for lips is just add a little bit of my tandy colada gloss and boom i'm ready to go it's time to get on the road period at this angle you guys are probably looking at this lash like whoa what's going on here sis and you know what honestly I am too. It's not so much about looking glam all the time as much as it is looking polished. And I really take pride in making sure that I look good if hopefully at all times possible. You feel me? Let's get on the road. I got a nail appointment. Okay, she's about to do these nails. Here goes nothing. Are you gonna mess me up? Mm -mm. You promise? I promise. Okay. <laughs> she got serious. <laughs> Okay, so I figured I'd go ahead and just kind of speed through this and do a little voiceover because there's already a tutorial on my channel and I will link it in the cards on the screen right now where I show you guys how I apply my press on nails. Look at her concentrating, y'all. Y'all can't see her concentrating, but just know that's what she doing. Now I'm not exactly sure where these nails are from because they are my nieces. However, I really do like the quality of them. Um, I love the curve in them and they just feel really sturdy on my nails once they've been applied. 
And I know I said I was going to lay off of the press-ons forever, but you know, my niece, she wants to do nails. So, um, you know, I gotta play auntie and let her play around on my nails and get some practice in, okay? I've been wanting to do this. This is what I'm talking about. See the nails. I've never been one for long, luxurious nails. It's not very, you know, classy. So we're gonna cut it. I mean, people can wipe their butt. You just gotta improvise. You know, you gotta. <laughs> you gotta use the side of the finger, yeah. not the tip of the finger. Once the extensions are applied, she then goes in with two coats of this Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Nail Polish. This color, it was really, really pretty. It almost kind of looked like Cotton Candy by OPI. And of course, sealing everything with a top coat of clear nail polish. Look at this color, you guys. Oh my gosh. And on a side note, look how good my niece painted these nails okay better job than i ever could have done that's for sure getting some diamonds now getting some, some diamonds some, some one, one. three one three one three okay sounds right three 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 one one however you want to say it you know Just Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was low-key nervous about her putting these rhinestones on my nails. But she did a really good job. Like, shout out to my niece, y'all. She really hooked her auntie up, okay? I'm so proud. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hope to see you soon. Bye.